Uh, you know that I got that new M1 Pro based MacBook Pro recently, which I'm still liking. It's heavier than the Air. Not sure if I'll if I'll keep it or if I'll give it to my son. That's still that jury's still out on that. But it's a great machine, obviously. The battery has been dying while it's been sleeping. But I knew it wasn't a problem, not dying, but but draining rapidly, like going from I'll put it to sleep at, you know, 11 p.m. And it's at 70 percent. And the next morning it'll be at 40 percent, you know, like that's not good. Right. Over the course of, you know, it was it was draining two percent or more per hour. This seemed like a little much. Mm. Yeah. So but I knew it wasn't a problem with my with the hardware on my new M1 Pro MacBook Pro because I was having exactly the same issue on my um, on my my M1 Air. And it 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 had only started recently. Like it was definitely a you know last few weeks kind of thing, but it was certainly happening. And it it transferred over whatever I did with migration assistant brought it with it. So it was like, okay, I gotta solve this problem. Like this is driving me crazy. But I know it's a software problem. Like I've 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 proven that. I've ruled that out. So I I started digging around and I found uh it's like, you know, this is always a thing, right? Like what's the, what's the, um, you know, what's, what's causing my battery to drain, right? We get this question a lot. So I started digging and I found a Apple discussion article with a command that I found super helpful to me. And the command, John, is... <laughs> Here we are at the terminal again. I know. <laughs> sorry, I guess. Not sorry. Not at all. Uh, the command is PM set, which is the power manager setter, setter, setter upper, configurator. There you go. Better word. PM set. PM set. This will all be in the show notes. We always put commands in the show notes so you don't have to try and remember or interpret what we said. PM set space dash G space log. And that will display a very long log of all of the power management related events. And so this was helpful. And now whenever I'm doing something with a log like that, I wind up wanting to use um, the, uh, the, the pipe and a grep command so that I could, um, so that I can, you know, f narrow it down. So what I did was, and this is the command I'll put in the show notes, John, is I did PM set dash G log pipe grep space colon, a quote, and in quotes with a capital W and a capital R, I put wake requests because I had this feeling that my Mac was waking up during sleep. And as soon as I did that, all was revealed to me, John. And I can't believe we've been doing this show this long and I've never learned about the PM set log command. But this immediately showed me that every few seconds my Mac was waking up so that an operation from an app could run. Now, this made it super easy because I deleted the app and my problems were gone. Here's the interesting part about this. The app was... Uh, the channels app, which is the, 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 you know, the DVR that, that I've been using the DVR runs on my Synology. There is no Mac channels app, but there is an iPhone and iPad channels app. And because it's an M one Mac, I can download I, iPad apps onto it. And I did. And for whatever reason, the uh, it's clean cache operation was running every few seconds, even though it's only supposed to run in the background once every 24 hours. Uh, so there, there was a bug or so I triggered some event that caused it to say it needed to run all the time instead of just one of the times. And, uh, and I, obviously I reported this to the channels folks and they're digging in and like, you know, it was an interesting thing, but that PM set dash G log and then grepping for wake requests. And you could just do PM set dash G log. And then in the terminal, use the terminals find command for wake space requests. Like that's totally fine. 
But as soon as I, I, I deleted the channels app and then I noticed that they were still happening even after I deleted and emptied the trash. Uh, so I restarted my Mac and after that it settled right in and, and things have been totally fine. I'll put it to sleep with 70% battery and, and wake up and it's got, you know, 68% battery. And it's like, okay, this is how it should be. Thank goodness. I found this, but yeah, that PM set command, that that's the, what a great thing to have found. So I wanted to share. It was, it was, it was definitely something driving me crazy as I know it would any of you, you don't want to see your battery just, you know, draining like crazy during sleep. I thought it was like trying to do a time machine back. You know, my mind was going in all the obvious places and I proved that assumptions are not necessarily uh, correct. So it's pretty cool yeah. though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back in the old days, you could, I think eh, it doesn't work anymore. So I won't talk about using power D. That was the old way to find out, I think, sure. and wake events. You're right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is different. And I don't know where you would see that log otherwise, but uh, I didn't, I stopped my search right there. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, I know. PM set dash G log. It's great. But again, you're going to want to filter it down. And so I put the command in there to, to show you how to filter it. It's in the show notes at MacGeekGab.com. Uh, this is show 901. So you'll find them there.